Tired of the everyday grind? Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. in command of a ship sailing with sealed orders into an ocean fraught with danger, while the enemy whom you seek is lying in wait for the moment when they will close in and strike, leaving you no escape. Listen now as Escape brings you Anthony Ellis' exciting story, Clear for Action. <laughs> As long as it takes me to haul anchor, sir. Uh, convoy, Mr. Secretary. Uh, better than that. You are familiar with these waters? I know the Caribbean as well as my own quarterdecks. Excellent. Somewhere in these waters, there is a French sloop of war. The Harfleur. From all available reports, she carries 20 guns, more or less. And she has taken or sunk at least 10 of our merchantmen. She has to be stopped. We cannot at this time afford war with either France or England. Therefore, you will under no conditions attack unless absolute proof is offered of an aggression against one of our ships or your own. Oh, exactly. But she'd hardly be likely to open fire on a merchantman under our noses, sir. She would not, Captain. That those are your orders. Yes, sir. When do I sail, sir? You will proceed with all haste to the Bahamas Group vicinity. The half floor seems to operate from a base situated near there. Very well, sir. I wish you luck, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Mr. Quinn. Morning, sir. Mr. McCrake, you've charted the course? Aye, sir. Good. We'll get underway immediately. Square away. <laughs> Mr. McCrake, we should be sighting the island soon, huh? Aye, sir. You will have lookout. Keep a sharp watch. Aye, sir. Now, thank you to order gun crew exercise again this morning. Aye, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Jonathan. We're making about seven knots, sir. Ah, excellent. At this rate, we... Quartermaster, alter your course two points to starboard. Two points to starboard, sir. He's a big one, sir. Close yes. hauled, coming up fast. Better than a frigate, I'd say, sir. Master, can you make her colors? Call all hands to quarters, please, Mr. McCrake. Aye, aye, sir. All hands to quarters. All hands to quarters. Lobster bats. He's a ship of the line, sir. Seventy-four guns if he carries one. Ah, that's what I like. Close on. I want no trouble with her, Mr. McCrake. But we'll have gun crews to their station. I'll attend to it myself, sir. And I pray that she fires on it. 
I don't like it, Captain. She must have seen our colors by now. She's laying a course to pass within range. Probably wants to hail us. Nothing more. Port guns, keep your limb stocks handy. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. McCrake, on the quarter deck, if you please. She's shortening sail. Yes. We'll come about, Helm. All right, sir. Mr. Quinn, my speaking trumpet, please. Sir? Thank you. Sir, if they let go with a broadside, we're done for. Those must be 42 pounders. Mr. McCrake, I'm aware of that. Well, set us back on course, Captain, and I'll blow on to Kingdom Come. Mr. McCrake, unless you have a desire to join the midshipmen, you will allow me to give the orders. Back the main capsules! We'll heave to, Mr. McCrake. But, sir, we... Heave to, Mr. McCrake. I sir. Heave to! United States Frigate Panther of 36 guns, Captain Christopher Steele. We're sending a long boat to you, Captain. We wish to come aboard. Very well, sir. She's a princess, sir. That would be Rear Admiral Gray. Flagship of the West Indies squadron, huh? You'll no doubt be wanting to put a press gang aboard us. Don't worry, Duncan. Uh, I served with them once. And I'll happily kill the first man who tries to make me do it again, sir. The only way any of my men leave this ship is over my dead body. Have the men stand to quarters, Jonathan. Aye, sir. You're not going to pipe them over the side, are you, sir? I am not, Duncan. Yeah, oh, here they come. Will you look at that pipsqueak standing at the stern? <laughs> that Duncan is an officer of His Majesty's Navy. Hey, he looks as though he's been glued together. Duncan, control yourself. Not a word out of you. That's an order. Aye, sir. Thank you, my man. Captain Steele? Yes? Lieutenant Simpson of His Majesty's ship, Princess. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? I shall come to the point, sir. What are you doing in these waters? I do not see that that concerns you, Lieutenant. England is at war, sir. Any ship concerns us. So I have noticed. Exactly what do you mean by that, Captain? Only that my government has been well aware of your impressment of American seamen into the British Navy. That is a lie. We impress only English deserters. A questionable point, Lieutenant. As a matter of fact, Captain, I have orders to set your ship for just such men. Impossible. I... I beg your pardon? No, Lieutenant, you may not search. This is a warship of the United States Navy, and may I remind you that only by my courtesy are you at this moment aboard. I... The interview is over, Lieutenant. You may return to your ship. Well, I... Mr. McCrake, you will escort Lieutenant Sampson over the side. Aye, I sir. warn you, Captain. Come along, Lieutenant. This position will roast Christmas and find him with Admiral Gray. Please send my compliments to the Admiral and tell him that if I ever catch him molesting American ships, I shall consider it an act of piracy and will see that he hangs from his own yard arm. Well, we shall see about that. I'll have me, sir. Sit here, Lieutenant. Take your hands off this our guest is away, sir. <laughs> yes, Mr. Quinn, yes. All right, squat away. We're wasting time. Hi, sir. Break out that, that main sir. Hands to the halyard. Wipe it out. Oh, sir, it's disappointing. We are to open fire. She's a wonderful target. Yes, but so are we, Duncan. You'll get your fight, all right, but with a higher floor. Ah. Now I don't want to miss my breakfast. Call me when the island's in sight. Sir, we've been cruising these islands for two days now. Do you think she'd be lying in so close? The British would have spotted her. I will take no chances, Jonathan. Fire the mark! Seven feathers. Oh, seven feathers. Mr. McCrake, we'll shorten sail again. Aye, sir. Shows are dangerous here, but, sir. I wonder yes. if... Oh, there, Jonathan, there. Beyond that sand speck, you see? Yeah, I see her. Yes, but that's not the half floor. The 
him a cut, I would judge he's a brig. Showing fast, sir. Well, whatever she is, she must be aground. We'll run in as close as possible. I want to look at her. And a half five. Sir, don't you think it... Don't you think it... Yes, Jonathan? Nothing, sir. All right, we'll like her here. Aye, sir. E2. Mr. McCray. Aye, sir. Put the cutter overside and get me a crew. Let's call the anchor. Oh, sir. Smith, Lenny, Harley, Jacob, Phillips. Muskets and sidearms. Lance the cutter. Ship secure, sir. Jonathan, you will keep us covered with a bow chaser. Aye, sir. You think it might not be a trap? Well, it might, but we'll chance it. Watch for my signals. If you sight the Frenchman, put out immediately. Aye, sir. Duncan, leave your sea legs here. We're going ashore for a little walk. We will return to escape in just a moment. But first, tomorrow night, the Lux Summer Theater stars Fred McMurray... Listen on most of these same CBS radio stations tomorrow night. The Lux Summer Theater. And now, back to Escape. to be alive, I can tell you, sir. Making as peaceful a voyage as you could wish for, bound home for Providence, when we run into a Frenchie. Ah, Fleur, we've been searching for her. Uh, she hit our mizzen when we refused to heave to. Luckily, a squall came up and we lost her. Uh, you were fortunate, Captain. Uh, I put in here for repairs. We hit the shoals and run aground. Uh, we're in a mighty fix. How are your repairs proceeding? Well, as you see, you're rigging a jury mast now. Bottom's sound right enough. But what's a peaceful ship to do, I ask you, sir? Hard being neutral these days. Well, they are difficult times, Captain. However, rest assured, you will reach port safely. I hope so, sir. I hope so. Cargo is valuable. Ah, she certainly looks trim. She is, sir. Sweet craft. Ah. I wonder, sir. Oh, just a thought, McCrick. Just a thought. Ah, there's my daughter. She'll be happy your, to see you. Uh, your daughter, sir? Certainly. Always sails with me. Fine sailor. Aha. Uh-huh. Jennifer! Yes, Father. I want you to meet Captain Steele of the Panther, lying out yonder. A great pleasure, Captain. Miss Matthews? This is Lieutenant McCrake. You gentlemen are a welcome sight. Why, thank you, ma'am. The Panther's after that Frenchie, the half floor she's called. Your father tells me you had a brush with her. Oh, yes, that scurvy, blasted... Daughter! <laughs> Forgive me, Captain. I forgot that ashore I am a lady, or at least supposed to be. <laughs> Why, ma'am, I hadn't noticed otherwise. That, sir, is the prettiest speech I have heard nigh on to eight months. <clears throat> uh, Captain Matthews, may we go aboard your vessel? Of course. I should like to further discuss the situation with you. Cut of brandy, sir. Thank you, yes. Your help, sir. And yours, sir. Now, sir. Captain, how would you like to square accounts with the hot floor? I should like that, sir. I should like that very well. Well, a plan occurred to me ashore. Uh, I must warn you, though, that there's an element of danger both to you and your ship. Without your presence here, we'd probably never see America again. Frenchman still searching for us, there's no doubt. Yes, exactly. But let us suppose that you became a decoy, the bait in a sea trap. Go on, sir. Go on. I think we may safely presume that Harfleur does not know of the existence of my ship here in the Caribbean. Now, with your permission, I propose... Steady, steady, 
motion. Ah. Well done. All right, lash him down, Boson. There. That's it, sir. Thank you, Mr. McCrick. Handsomely, mister, handsomely. A round of grog for your men with my compliments. Aye, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll see to it. Four guns, Captain. Four guns where there should be none. Yes, but they must remain well hidden until needed, sir. I couldn't have believed it. Four guns from your own ship to the old Salem. Oh, that Frenchman. Well, we shall see, sir. And now I suggest that we observe Miss Jennifer's progress below, huh? Aye. <laughs> what a tale this will make. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Sir, you make a powerful-looking woman, Lieutenant. Father. <laughs> there. How do you like it, Captain? A delightful sight. Mistress Quinn, my compliments. No, sir. Miss Jennifer, there is no seamstress in Boston to equal you. Why, thank you, Captain. Uh, uh, we shall go over the plan again, eh? Mr. McCrake, below, if you please. Hi, sir. Ah, now then. Mr. Quinn and I will stay aboard the Salem with Captain Matthews. Well, it's then... all secure, Dundex, sir. Uh, why, Mr. Quinn, what oh. a perfectly beautiful gown. Oh, Mr. Yeah, Quinn yeah, is aware yeah. of his beauty. We have business, Mr. McCrake. Aye, sir. Now, we shall need 20 good men from the Panther, besides the gun crews already with us aboard the Salem. Mr. McCrake, you will be in command of the Panther. If possible, remain within masthead sight of us. Aye, sir. Miss Jennifer will sail with you. Aye, aye, sir. Yes. Mr. Quinn and the gun crews will be dressed in female costume and will make themselves plain to sight on deck. I hope that will lull the Frenchmen into a sense of security and trust that they will not run out their guns. Good, good. Go on, sir. A Salem's four cannon will be hidden, and to all appearances, she is still the peaceful merchantman. And this time, when the half Lewis sights us, we heave too. Yes, correct. She'll no doubt send a boarding party. Yeah. And then our ladies engage the boarders. Supported by myself and the rest of the men. And I think that is all. It is to be hoped, gentlemen, that after these preparations, your enemy obliges with her presence. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, Mr. McCrake, we'll catch Salem off the shoal immediately, if you please. Aye, sir. Mr. Quinn, you may remove your gown now. Oh, thank you, sir. And give the men from Panther their orders. I should like to get underway as soon as possible. <laughs> Clear, Mr. McCrick? Aye, sir. Very well. And, uh, good luck, Duggan. And you behave yourself. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Good luck to you. Captain Matthews. Thank you, lad. Goodbye, Father. Captain Steele, would you honor me by wearing this ribbon on your sword? I, I would be honored, ma'am. Thank you. Goodbye, Captain. Uh, Mr. McCrick? Aye, sir. Uh, uh, Miss Jennifer, would you allow me to assist you over the side? Thank you, Lieutenant. I'll take good care of her, sir. Mr. McCrick? Yes, sir. Well, Captain Matthews, will you give the order to make sail? Aye. Fire the way! And the bonus to the first man to sight the Frenchman! waiting. Well, if she's still in these waters, Captain, we'll find her. Never thought I'd be praying to see a Frenchie, but at this minute, I'd give it... Steady as you go, Helm. Steady as you go, sir. Mr. Quinn! Aye, sir. Get your men into their costumes lively now. Aye, sir. Yes, that's her. That's our ship, all right. Mr. Quinn, keep the men away from their guns. We want to arouse no suspicion. She's seen us. She's tacking over. Aye. You men below, we've started the chase. Stand at quarters. I want no sound until I give the signal. Helm. Aye, sir. We'll broach two. 
Make her think we're rattled and clumsy and trying to put about. All right, sir. That'll bring our guns to bear on the starboard side, Captain. Good, good. All right, let her fall off, Helm. Easy. Easy now. All right, port a little. Steady. Steady. Ah, oh, well done, man. Steady as you go. Steady as you go, sir. Ready, sir. <laughs> well, most fetching, Lieutenant. Ah. Here, let me adjust your bonnet for you. There, that's better. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, that pistol, Lieutenant, makes a bulge where it seems to me no bulge should be. Oh. Well, we... Uh, better, sir? <laughs> You're a picture of femininity. Now, as soon as the half lure comes up, we heat too. Have you been very distracted? In other words, behave like women, mister. In the line of duty and seeing you order it, sir, I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. You know what to do when they board. Aye, sir. All right, take up your station. <laughs> uh, I pity the Frenchman who comes over the side to meet Mr. Quinn. And I, sir, and I. Back your sail! We're heaving to... She's on, Mr. Beam. Don't worry, Captain. They want this ship as a prize. She's already put over a longboat. And another one's coming around from the port quarter. I'd be obliged, sir, if you'd go to your cabin. This is our work. No, sir, this is my ship. I'm not young anymore, but I won't miss this fight. Very well, sir. Then I suggest that you look for the priming of your pistols. is your captain. What's the meaning of this? We're a neutral vessel, American. This ship is a prize of l'Empereur Napoleon. You will strike your color. Not while I'm alive. Mr. Quinn, repel board! Here's your prize, Frenchie! I think we may have scored a hit. What shall I do with the prisoners, sir? Have them taken below. Uh, we'll transfer them to the Panther. Uh, ah, and none too soon. Our floor is wearing it to rake us. We'll be in trouble if she can. Captain, that's your ship closing in. Yes, the Frenchman's seen her too. Look, look, she's standing up. She's done. Get to your guns, Mr. Quinn. Aim for a mass. We might get a lucky hit. Aye, right, sir. Open fire, Mr. Quinn, open fire! She's hit! Look, Captain! There goes a missile! She's hit! Well, I think Panther can take over now. And by the go, boat! Break up the canvas! Miss Jennifer, that was a wonderful dinner. Yes, it was indeed, ma'am. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Captain Steele, hmm? did you enjoy it, too? Uh, uh, I, yes. Yes, of course, Miss Matthews. <laughs> Very tasty. Very. Well, I was just thinking it's, uh, it's getting late. Oh, no, Captain, you don't have to go yet. Why, of course not, ma'am. I'm afraid so. Mr. Quinn stands watch aboard the Panther tonight, and you, Mr. McRake, have uh, 
repairs to make on the hot floor. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. We'll uh, stay home, too, tonight. Well, a uh, uh, good night, Miss Matthews. Good night. I- I'd uh, willingly join the crew of Salem for such cooking as yours. Oh, why, thank you, Lieutenant. Um, uh, good night, ma'am. Good night, Lieutenant Quinn. Hey, uh, are you coming, sir? Uh, why, yes, gentlemen, of course. I... But, Captain, don't you remember? You promised to tell me of your exploits at sea. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Good night, Duncan. Hi, sir. Good night, sir. Jonathan. Good night, sir. <laughs> mm. uh, well, Miss Matthews, I... Jennifer, uh... Captain. Jennifer. And now, supposing you start by telling me of your exploits. Escape has brought you Clear for Action, written and directed by Anthony Ellis, starring William Conrad as Captain Steele. Featured in the cast were Ben Wright, John Daner, John Stevenson, Tudor Owen, Vivi Janice, Richard Peel, and Dave Young. The special music for Escape is composed and directed by Leith Stevens. Next week... You are running from an unseen enemy, frightened and alone, living from day to day, while your pursuer, unrelenting and murderous is gaining on you, ready to trap you in a place from which there is no escape. So listen next week when Escape brings you Charles Smith's exciting story, The Faraway Island. Tomorrow night, where CBS Radio has been bringing you its productions of suspense, listen for the gripping new mystery called Crime Classics. Premier performance this Monday night on most of these same CBS radio stations. This is Roy Rowan speaking. And remember, for mystery mixed with merriment, join Mr. and Mrs. North Tuesday evenings on the CBS Radio Network.